Do you struggle with neck pain while you're sleeping? Or maybe you wake up in the morning and your neck feels really stiff, but it loosens up throughout the day? Well, if that's the case, then it's probably your pillow. So today we're gonna to talk about what the best pillow is based on what position you usually sleep on. I'm Dr. Aim of Physical Therapy for Everybody, and we're gonna link some pillow reviews that we did a few months ago in the video below. So if you've been wondering about special pillows or different types, definitely check out those links because we talked about who they might be good for, who they really weren't good for, and kind of give you some feedback. Because I know when you're trying to pick a pillow, they're expensive, right? But if you know what position you usually sleep in and some general principles, which is what we're gonna talk about today, you should be able to find a pillow that works perfectly for you. All right, so first off, I'm gonna to talk to my back sleepers. We call this lying supine. So if you tend to sleep on your back predominantly, then what you want is a really, really thin pillow, just something that provides a little bit of support. The reason why, as you've probably noticed, if you have a really thick pillow, it pushes your head forward, which stretches all the muscles and ligaments in the back of the neck and will definitely cause you to wake up with a really stiff neck. It also puts a lot of compression in the discs in the front, which we really don't wanna be doing, especially when we're in that position for a long period of time. That's the thing about sleeping, right? You're gonna be there for a while, so we definitely wanna make sure that your neck is in a good position and not getting torqued in some abnormal way. Now, I will say for my back sleepers, there are some pillows that are thin in the center and then they kind of come up, they kind of have wings on the side to kind of help cradle your head in that position. That's kind of based on preference. Some people love it and some people feel like that it's just, it's too confining or it squishes their ears or they just don't like it. What you can try though, is you can take a towel and roll it up and put one on each side that kind of mimics that cradling type of thing and see if you feel better and more supported in that position. If you do, then that probably would be a really great pillow for you. All right, next up is my side lying sleepers. So if you tend to sleep on your side and I am one of you, the big thing you wanna make sure when it comes to neck pain is you wanna fill in this gap here. So there's a gap, right, your shoulder length, that you wanna make sure you fill in so when you're sleeping, you're not in this position or you're not in this position the whole time. Again, if you stay in that position for hours at a time, as you do when you're sleeping, hopefully, you're gonna get a lot of stretch either if you're going away from the pillow or a lot of compression if you're going towards the pillow. If you tend to keep your head closer to the pillow, that causes a lot of compression on this side of your neck, which is really difficult because it puts a lot of pressure on the discs as well as on the facet joints. Those facet joints are in between the cervical vertebrae and when they get compressed, it can cause cartilage damage, which leads to a lot of pain and dysfunction and obviously makes you wake up with a really stiff neck. So you wanna make sure you have a pillow that is gonna fill in that gap and that's gonna stay there. So I don't tend to like the memory foam pillows as much for my side sleepers particularly, because as you kind of go through the night, your head kind of sinks down. You wanna make sure that this position is maintained throughout the night. It's also helpful to have something that blocks your shoulder. So again, a pillow that fits in this hole should block your pillow because I know you side sleepers and you tend to bring your shoulders up by your ears, which also causes a lot of tension in the muscles in the neck and shoulders. And that can be causing you to wake up with that stiff neck. So make sure you fill in that hole completely. Now, when we're talking about neck and shoulders, especially for my side sleepers, I definitely recommend putting a pillow either on your side or in front of you that you can kind of hold onto. When you hug that pillow, it helps again to keep that shoulder down so the side you're not sleeping on, that shoulder can also stay down so it doesn't creep up by that ear and cause a lot of neck and shoulder tension. And in addition, because we all need more pillows in life, I recommend that you put a pillow in between your knees. So keeping your knees and hips stacked properly, especially ladies, I'm talking to you, but guys, you have this problem too, helps to keep the spine in a neutral position 
So now this is gonna be more effective if you wake up with low back achiness, but again, it still affects the entire spine. So a pillow that fills in the gap here for your neck and shoulders, a pillow to hold your other shoulder down that you can hug, and a pillow in between your knees to keep your pelvis in alignment will help to affect the entire spine. All right, now it's time to talk to my stomach sleepers. Stomach sleepers, I know you love sleeping on your stomach. I am going to tell you that if you do not yet have neck and shoulder pain, you will. Because again, if you stay in that position for a prolonged period of time where your head is rotated, which you have to because you're trying to breathe, it's gonna cause a lot of stress and tension through the neck and shoulders. So if you don't have pain yet, you probably will. A lot of patients who come to see me um, are stomach sleepers and have not been able to break that habit. I do understand that it's very difficult and I will tell you that I definitely do not recommend trying to do something to switch your, your sleeping position normally because when you're sleeping is when you're healing. It's the most important thing you do all day long. So this is a really key point because I usually do not try to change people's sleeping position, but sleeping on your stomach is so, so, so bad for you that I definitely want to recommend that you try to change that sleeping position. Using a, the proper pillow to either sleep on your back or sleep on your side will definitely help. It will also help if you use the other pillows to support you if you're sleeping on your side because that'll cause a decreased tension throughout the rest of your body. It'll make your body feel more comfortable and be easier to accept it. In addition to the fact that if the pillows are on your way, it's gonna be harder to lay on your stomach. Now, if you start side sleeping and you find yourself on your stomach because that's what your body's used to, it is what it is. And I understand that, but if you try to start in the best position, it will help to decrease your neck tension overall. So we're gonna link the videos below specifically for the pillow reviews that we did to give you some more ideas. If you've tried a pillow that works really, really well for you, please comment below. Let us know what the pillow was and what position you sleep in. Have a great day, everyone.